I'm probably gonna regret wearing this because it's so loud. Can't get away with sneaking around in this pullover. You're probably saying to yourself right now, why the glasses? And to that I say, why not the glasses? Hey yo, what's good reader fam? Today I'm going to be attempting to facetune some book covers. If you don't know what facetune is, basically it's this app where you can manipulate your face to look like a plastic Barbie. You can reshape your nose, you can get rid of wrinkles, you can change the color of your eyes. Who needs plastic surgery when you can digitally transform your face? Technology, man! I feel like soon enough there will be an app where you can physically transform and manipulate your face every day. Want a different nose? Sure, you can have a different nose. Want different kneecaps? We've got you covered. Want different earlobes? Look no further. It's actually all kind of scary. The future is near and it's looking terrifying. I've had the Facetune app for a while, but I don't really use it in the way that you're supposed to. Most people use it to make themselves look perfect. Meanwhile, I'm over here like, how can I make myself look derpier than I already do? Derpy derp. Why would I want to look perfect when I can look like this? I hope these faces show up in your nightmares. I personally think they deserve to be hung in a museum. Like these are a work of art. Just hang me in the Louvre, why don't ya? I actually really I really wish that they made Facetune for writing, like word tune. You take your crappy writing, throw it in the app, rub your finger over the writing, and voila! It magically becomes perfect! Ah, wouldn't that be nice? All right, we're gonna start with Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. We've got our Queen Selena up on this cover. All right, what do we wanna do with this cover? To be honest, I'm not really sure all the things you can do in Facetune. Like, I'm still pretty new to this app, and I obviously don't use it very seriously, which I'm not gonna use it very seriously today either. I feel like we need to give her hair a bit of a more swoopity swoop feel to it. All of the other covers, her hair is like flying high in the air like it don't care, hey. And on this cover, there's just like this little breeze happening. I wanna crank that fan and get her hair flying through the air. So let's do that. I think we can do that with reshape. I think I can do a little, little, little swoopiness with it. I'm pretty sure I can do that with this reshape tool and I can make her hair swoopity swoop. Let's see how well we can manipulate this. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, look at that fan now. We're just gonna ignore the fact that this is messing up Sarah J Mass's name up there. <laughs> Oh, 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 it's magic. I kind of jacked up Sarah J Mass's name, but we all know who she is. You know, it now kind of looks like Selena went to the salon and something bad happened. Like her hair got stuck in a blow dryer or something. But it's fine. It looks good. Lies I tell myself. Liar, 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 liar. I just wanted that cheesy advertisement windblown hair, you know? And I kind of achieved that. I'm not mad at it. Next up, I want to see Selena buff. Like in this, her arms are tiny and she's holding these huge huge swords. I honestly feel like her arms need to be more ripped. She's carrying around these swords like they're made out of styrofoam. And I know they're heavy swords. So let's buff her up. Get buff. Get swole. Get buff. Get swole. So buff. So buff. Look at that muscle form. We'll make her shoulders more broad too. Oh yeah. Nice and buff. Oh yeah. That's a buff arm right there. That's much better. Now nobody wants to mess with her in those arms. Heck, I don't even think people would want to high five from that. I feel like we also need to make her facial expression a lot more terrifying. Terrifying to the point where you pee your pants if you saw her walking down the street singing do a diddy diddy dum -d Okay. The problem here is is that this is not a very high quality image. As you can see, her face is quite pixelated, but I'm gonna try my best to make her scary here. <laughs> oh god, what did I do? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, I didn't mean to make her face like that. We'll stick with it. And voila, we have the finalized face tuned cover. It's really a shame that this can't be the actual book cover. It just feels right, you know? Like, this is Selena. I should hit up Bloomsbury and let them know that I have an exclusive version of Throne of Glass for them. I can see this selling millions. Next up, I'm gonna tackle Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Fire! <sighs> Winner BTS trash. Did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? I feel like for Harry, I really want to emphasize his scar. If you got it, flaunt it. Since it's Mr. Potter, I want to emphasize that iconic scar on his forehead. Bring even more attention to it. Let's do some reshaping here. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? I think there's a way I can make it more poppy though. I just don't know how to do it. Is it the details thing? Yes, there we go. 
Look at that mark. Oh, for some reason it looks really bloody now. <laughs> how did I make it so bloody? I didn't mean to make it so bloody. I love how we've got some photobombing happening here. Imagine photobombing the boy who lived. But also, how dare they steal his thunder? Don't they know he's Harry freaking Potter? I'm gonna try to make them look away as if they didn't know this photo was being taken. That way it's less obvious that they're looking directly at the camera. <laughs> I'm the worst. I'll let Mr. Serious Black keep his eyeballs. But that's much better. Now all the attention goes to Harry and a scar. I'm talking as if this is an actual photograph when it's an illustration. You know, now that I think about it, I want to make the doggo back here bigger. He deserves to be bigger and he deserves to shine. Let's make our puppy bigger. Perfect. That makes it much better. Dogs make everything better in life. No shade, no tea, just facts. Now that I'm looking at this cover, I've realized that this whole time that I thought these like magical sparkly thingies all around the cover was snow, but it's not. It's sparkly magic. My whole life is a lie. Also, I'm so dumb. I can't believe I didn't know it wasn't snow. I thought it was snow this whole freaking time. I seriously was always like, oh, this is such a nice, warm, fuzzy, Christmassy cover, but I've just been dumb this whole time. Here's the finalized cover. Don't you just want this tattooed on your body? I know you do. Could this be any more flawless? I think not. Perfection. All right, the next cover I'm gonna be doing is Tales from the Shadow Hunter Academy, featuring my twin brother Simon, even though we look nothing alike. We're still twins, okay? Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twinted. No, I'm just a lot like Simon because I'm super nerdy. Which is why I feel like this book cover is too serious. The Simon we know and love is pretty much dopey from Snow White's crew. I just really feel like he needs to be smiling on this book cover. So we're gonna try and change that. We're gonna make him smile. Here comes your smile. Do, 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 do. We're gonna try not to make his lips huge though. That's uh, something I do not really want. Oh my gosh. This isn't really working. This is not really working. Smile. Simon! <laughs> oh my gosh! What did I do? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> There's that smile to make this book cover better! I tried! This kind of looks like plastic surgery gone wrong. So I'm gonna go ahead and apologize, Simon. I did you wrong! I tried my best, but that wasn't enough. The old Simon can't come to the phone right now. Why? because his mouth is stuck like this. Next up, I'm gonna be doing the book cover for Mind Games, a book that I didn't like. Oops. I honestly just wanted to see if I could smooth out the skin of this cover model. Not that they have bad skin, but as you can see, they've got images all over their skin and I wanted to see if I could smooth that out. I wanted to see how powerful Facetune is. Imagine if our acne looked like this. We wake up and we just have all these images all over our skin. No thanks. I don't even really know how to do this. Will the smooth tool like make it smooth? Let's see what happens. Yeah, that didn't do anything. Smoother. Let's try smoother. <gasps> smoother kind of worked. Okay, we're gonna try smoother, but I feel like I'm gonna have to ruin the title of the book. Oh well, her face is smoothing. Her face is smoothing. Her face is smoothing. Smoothing. Smooth, smooth, smoothing. Her face is so smoothie. Her face is so smoothie. Her face is so smoothie that you'll drink, drink. No. Okay, so definitely not what I wanted, but I think what I can do is go to the patch tool. Patch it up. We're gonna patch it up. I feel like this is gonna take too long though, and I have to find like good pieces of skin. What did I do? Can I undo? How do I undo do that? Oh, can I do that? There we go. So that was gonna take too long, and I'm not in the mood to do that. So let's see what this does. Tone. Let's see if this will do. <gasps> whoa, 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 that's all I can say. That's all the commentary I have for you guys. Whoa, I mean, would you look at her? Would you look, look at her? Look what I did to her. Don't you just love her? Don't you just want her skin? Imagine being the author of this book and receiving this as the cover proof. Wouldn't you just choke on how good it is? I mean, this is choke worthy. <laughs> I feel like none of these are going as planned. Next up here, I have the Chronicles of Nardia. We got our big boy Aslan on the cover. I just feel like he's taking up enough of this cover that why shouldn't we take it the next level and just make him completely consume this cover? Like, why just make him the bottom half when you can just make him the entirety of the book, you know? Don't you guys get what I'm saying here? So we're gonna reshape our brother here and make him even bigger. We don't need that title. We know what this book is just by looking at this lion. Beautiful! We've got to emphasize those details, you know? Really just make him look so beautiful. You are beautiful! 
No matter what the other lions say. I think that about covers it. I mean, wow, I feel attacked by this cover. It didn't have to jump out like that. If I were walking down the aisle of a bookstore, this book cover would jump out at me and grab my attention and claim my eyeballs. And I just have to let it do its thing because it's that powerfully beautiful. Clearly, I should just become a cover artist because these covers are lit. Not even a cover artist, like a cover artist manipulator. The publisher will get the finalized cover and then they'll ship it off to me and I'll just manipulate the heck out of it. I think I found a new calling in life and that is face tuning book covers. I hope you all enjoyed this experience and that you learned something from me today. AKA, don't do this. You'll ruin things that don't need to be ruined. I'm far from becoming a face tuning master, but one day I'll reach that level. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you want to see more bookish content from me, be sure to go and hit subscribe or go and hit that bell icon and you'll be notified every time I post new videos. As always, thanks for watching guys. I hope your day is bright and that tomorrow is brighter. Keep reading what your heart desires and I will see you in the next video. Bye!